Well, a year ago at CPAC, Michael, I don't know if you were here, but a year ago at CPAC, we were all happily having our meetings, and then all of a sudden, Vladimir Putin invades Ukraine. So we're all here, we all go to the cameras, we all talk about it, and it was pretty clear Vladimir Putin thought, easy peasy, I'll be in and out in three days, the government of Ukraine will fall, I'll have a puppet government in Ukraine, and then I'll have greater Russia restored. So I want to ask Michael Anton, why did Putin think he could get away with it? What, what thinking led him to that? Well, why he thought he could get away with it is because his country is so much larger, his military is so much larger. He thought that Ukraine was weak, that Ukraine would be a pushover, and that he thought, I think, that the, that eastern third of Ukraine is so pro-Russia, they would have essentially welcomed him with open arms and he could get it done very, very quickly. Obviously, it's a year later, and that hasn't happened, and yet the war grinds on. The war does grind on. So from the perspective of where we are now, so here we are a year into it. It turns out the Ukrainian military did fight. The Ukrainian president did not get on a plane as the Biden administration offered to kind of get him out, sneak him out in the dead of the night from Ukraine. The Ukrainians have fought. NATO has come together. The United States, at an enormous expense, has been supporting the Ukrainian effort. And yet the war grinds on. So, Michael, if I have to ask you, how does this war, is this war going to just keep grinding on? Can the Russians fight forever? I don't know if they can fight forever, but it does seem to be indefinite. I mean, it's a country that's GDP is larger, population base is larger, its military base is larger, the amount of material it can throw at it. Ukraine is only in the fight because of Western aid. Right. So it's conceivable that as long as the Western aid keeps flowing, neither side really gains the upper hand. It could go on a lot longer. I, I don't, nothing is indefinite, but you could imagine it going on for another year easily without any clear resolution and without either side really even gaining the upper hand.